Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingInperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share a custom bag technique that I got from the idea from um, Stampin' Up. That you can create those bags using the cello bags in the catalog. Now the best size for this would be the 4x6 size and of course I've used all mine so I improvise and I'm using these clear envelopes because they're about the right size. I just want to show you how to do it. But when you use the cellophane bags, this is uh, like a medium sized one, you want to be careful because one side of the bag has a seam in it. You want to put the side without the seam down toward your embossing folder because here's how you're going to do it. You're going to take an embossing folder and you can see I've used this already and it is going to stain a little bit. I did try the stays on clear the stays on cleaner. It won't hurt any future projects that I make so I'm not too worried about it. I'm using the stays on opaque cotton white ink here and I'm using a brayer and a textured impressions embossing folder and I want the side I want the side with these raised triangles because that's what they used and I really like the way it looked. Now this stays on opaque um, ink. You ha it comes when you get this pad. It comes not inked up. It's very it's a dry foam pad and you need to ink it up and you want this to be really well inked up. And then you're just going to I practiced and learned that you just want to dab this. on the whole folder. You don't want to press down because it will get in the crevices. So you just want to dab this and you want to cover the entire thing. Now I've used also, I did a video a while ago, probably about a year ago, on using your regular ink pads. They wash off really nicely, your regular dye-based ink pads. This is a solvent based ink, so I'm just going to ink this up really well because I don't want any blank spots. Now, it doesn't matter which side of this I'm going to put in, but I would like the front to go down toward the inked embossing folder. I'm going to close this up, and then with a bit of pressure, I'm just going to roll my brayer back and forth. If I were to run this through my Big Shot, I would actually get the texture on the bag along with the um, the ink. Now since this is a solvent based ink it takes a while to dry. The dye based inks won't work. They won't ever dry on this so you need something that is actually a permanent ink. You could use your um, stays on, your black stays on also. Just remember that that's probably going to stain your embossing folder. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to roll this and I'm putting some amount of pressure on it because I want to give it good coverage and then when I take this out when I pull this out this is what I have how fun is that and now without touching the front of this I'm actually gonna let this dry for probably about a half an hour or so so don't touch the outside of that put this aside let it dry for about a half an hour and to clean this up I'm going to go ahead and use my, I'm going to run it under water and then I'm going to use a little bit of my stays on cleaner and uh, a rough washcloth and scrub that up. So um, stay tuned and I will share in another video the project that I create with this custom cello bag. How fun is that? Thanks for watching. You can get the cello bags at mystampingstore.com, the 4x6 size works perfectly if you have them. Um, if not, again, you can get them online at mystampingstore.com. Check out my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Make sure you sign up for the mailing list because 12, the 12 weeks of Christmas tutorials start on October 1st and you don't want to miss any. So make sure you're signed up and confirmed on my mailing list at stampingimperfection.com by October 1st to get all 12 weeks of Christmas tutorials. Thanks for watching.